take a step back in time to prehistoric passages, Realm of Dragons. Of course, it's the newest fun thing to explore and experience at the Greensboro Science Center. So longer than this dinosaur has been here, Rick Benton has been here 37 years, right? Yeah, I kind of predate the dinosaurs here. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, um, and, and, and staff consider me a dinosaur in a way, so yeah. Oh, I don't think so. And by the way, we should tell you that the lights are changing in here. This is the new prehistoric exhibit, and, and the lights change colors, and there's going to be some fancy stuff, so you're just getting a little behind-the-scenes sneak peek right now. So when you reflect back that the Greensboro Science Center has been here and part of this community for 60 years. What does that mean to you? And you've been a part of it for 37, more than half. Yeah, I know. It. Um, um, someone asked me that question recently, and I said, you know, um, so much has changed, but the most important things have stayed the same. So what's changed is like the. I mean, we were a, almost a one-room small facility. We were basically a trail that you hiked and then you came in to the room and they could tell you about the things that you see or should see. Uh, and, and now we're a big museum and a zoo and an aquarium and a planetarium and, and people come from all over. It used to be really just local. The, I mean, you wouldn't recognize the part of this building that was the original part. It's tiny. But what stayed the same is that they built this place back in 1957 to get kids knowledgeable and interested in science and nature and uh, and that's the part that stayed the same do you like this new exhibit yeah yeah what do you like best uh this one yeah you like that what about you calvin what do you like here i like uh this one what is that oh head uh, over our heads Dinosaur. Do you know what kind of dinosaur? It looks like a T-Rex to me. He's kind of scary, don't you think? Can I hear you roar? Can you roar? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about this place? I think it's really cool. What do you like best so far? The dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. They're really big, right? Yeah. What about you, Noah? I like the dinosaur exhibit. What about the dragon? Yeah, pretty cool, right? What do you think? I think it's really, really cool. I've, I've never seen a Komodo dragon before. And this one is right up close where you can just get nose to nose with it, right? You can do a little exploring here? Yeah. Maybe a lot of exploring, right? You could be a paleontologist one day. What do you think? Yeah. Rick, you've been here 40 years. Uh, what have you seen change? What have you seen stay the same? Has anything stayed the same? Um, well, a little bit of what uh, Rick Benton had said, you know, our, our mission, you know, to educate young and old now and, um, has stayed the same. The exhibitry um, has changed through the years as a plus for the community. And when I started in, uh, in 77, they were actually building the, um, the dinosaur, the old dinosaur gallery that we still have some of those replicas here. And I've been through like four other editions, then they added on the Garden Council building. They built the uh, Von der Lippe Hall and the, the Herpetarium, smaller aquarium downstairs, and classrooms, you know, for our educational programs. And then we added the uh, Psyquarium, and then we added the extension to the aquarium, and now we're redoing the prehistoric area and Komodo dragons. So what was your first job here? My first job was uh, a part-time position for the summer of 77 teaching workshops. So now you take care of um, all kinds of reptiles, including the newest one who lives in the exhibit behind us. And what is it? This is a Komodo dragon. This is kind of like, if you could say, my bucket list animal. Really? You know, I've always been into the reptiles since I was a youngster. And so I was very fortunate, you know, to be able to, to care for the collection here. But Komodo dragons are, are one of the animals that I actually knew about as a, as a youngster. And it's, it's amazing to be working with this animal now. And he's part of a breeding program, the Species Survival Program with the AZA accredited zoos. 
And so we're now part of that, and it's pretty exciting. Have you ever been bitten by some animals? You work with some of them that, you know, I would be a little nervous to handle. <laughs> well, I remember you handling one of our boas one time <laughs> years ago. But yes, I was, I'm occasionally bitten by maybe a snake when we're feeding. Um, if I'm not paying attention, you know, we, we have certain protocols with some of our larger, more dangerous animals, like we have crocodiles, large constrictors like our anaconda, Komodo dragon. So we have a, a two-keeper protocol, so in order to service those exhibits, if we have to go in with the animal, there has to be two of us. And like we're doing venomous downstairs, it's one keeper's job to watch the animal and the other one to do the service. So, um, but yeah, I've been bitten several times through the years. Not as much now, but in my younger days when I'm a... When you were a little more cavalier, perhaps. Yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> and after 37 years, do you still get excited to come to work here? You know, I, we do. I mean, I, um, every day. And I tell people, you know, the worst thing about Friday is you don't get to come to work the next day. And uh, they don't always agree with that. But, uh, <laughs> uh, but it, it is fun. And, it, and I mean, I don't think we ever get tired of watching children walk into a space that we've created and going, wow. And, you know, and getting excited and and, uh, and loud and sometimes too loud, but uh, but no, that's uh, that does make it fun to come to work. One of my most favorite parts about this new exhibit is getting to interact with the dinosaurs from billions of years ago. You can actually say hello to them. Hello. Oh, okay, not so close. That's, that's quite close enough. Thank you very much. It's all here at the Greensboro Science Center. Interact with the dinosaurs. Take a step back in time. Check it out. It's all part of your regular admission to the Science Center. Find out more about the happenings going on by going to greensborosciencenet.org.